the sequence of mayors? Like, but which ones do you remember Jim, well, going uh, on over into John? Skip Wright was the first mayor, right? Skip Wright, he yeah. was a, was he the first one? I in 63? So. I like Skip. Yeah. He was, he was mayor in 69 when I came here. Could have been. And I liked him. Yeah. Uh, I was on the right. chamber and I went to a council meeting uh, and I didn't, but he tried to, you know, draw me into it. And he lost though, didn't he? I can't remember. I, what was his name? Was, I thought mm -hmm. he was a perfect guy. I don't know, probably, well, he was pretty straight. He, in fact, he built our building. When yeah. we were built in 48, he was a contractor on the building. Uh -huh. I thought Skip Wright was a good man. Hmm. I liked him, but he, he, he didn't win one election. Yeah. He, uh, he was on the water board at one. In fact, he was on the water board before I was. Is that right? Yeah, in fact, I took his place. Yeah, after he resigned or returned to the mayor. Yeah, I, then I was on the board right after that, before I started. Anyway, I did like him. and. and uh, uh, the, the best mayor was, what was that, Monsieur, uh, what was his name? Bill Schultz. Bill Schultz. Yeah. Was he after Wright? Yes. Yeah. Well, Skip was, the, I'm sure, was the first one. Skip was the first yeah. one. He was until 69. I don't know who came after that. I'm not but sure. It might have been Schultz. Bill Schultz was a wonderful mayor. Didn't you think so? I think so. I, I think thought he was so fair and so bright and balanced. He, uh, you know, he, he kind of didn't go off. Depend on anything. Bill Schultz, I would say, is wonderful, and I think he's still alive. No. Well, wait a minute. I'll, he was in a nursing home. Last time I know him, he was in a nursing home. He's in a nursing home. I was mm -hmm. talking to his son now. I don't know whether oh. His not. sons are around Jay Schultz. Yeah. I his think son. his son contacted us about an interview, so, but mm -hmm. yeah. If you can interview Bill Schultz, do it. Yeah. If, he can, if he's still uh, uh, cognizant of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. He was such a good human being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started, in, in fact, he was in Coffee's Pools originally. Yes, he was. That building up there on 8th Street, he was there. Yeah. He and was there, what do you mean? He, well, he had an office there. Oh. And I think, who ran the spa before it was a hotel? Uh, somebody here in town ran it. Uh, it was owned by some doctors. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, Arne's family bought that and they gave it to Kermit to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> Didn't work. Uh, mm -hmm. And he built the rooms up there. He had a lot of fun with that. And who was that? Kermit Arns. Uh, he had more fun. He got drunk more times. <laughs> so who's another he mayor? More pretty girls. Who was a mayor after after Schultz? After Schultz. I don't remember. Well, Car wasn't Carl May a mayor? Yeah. No. Yeah, Carl well, May was a councilman. He was a councilman for a oh. long time. I don't know if he was mayor oh. or not. Carl May was uh, he was active in, in the Elks. And uh, he was on the council, the Chamber of Commerce. He was actually president of the chamber, and he might have been mayor, but he was he was uh, active in city politics. And then uh, uh, the guy at the five, JFA, uh, Corsini. Yeah, she was Corsini really. was mayor, mm -hmm. and uh, Bill Gibson was he ever mayor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bill Gibson Bill was Gibson, mayor. Mary Gibson's husband. Yeah, he's still is he still around? Yes, he is still around for a year. He lives him. in the house right where uh, he and Mary always live. Oh, they're on uh, oh, on Hacienda. Yes. Oh, he's still. I didn't see him build for years. He built it. He he he's not uh, in good health. He uh, he kind of does these magazines oh, yeah. here on the markets and things. Yeah. Doesn't look good at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary's mother owned the apartments right next to that. And when Mary's mother died, Mary went in there. And, and then they owned that little convenience store. And, they, and when they got divorced, Mary got to the convenience store. On Hacienda and Mountain View. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then who else? Who else was a mayor? Um, You're gonna have to pull out the record. Or I don't yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John might. He's got a better memory than I do. <laughs> That's because he's older than I. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I kept. I kept fighting all the time. That's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying. Well, I'm just, see. When I came to town, it was Wyuker. Right. Yeah, it was Wyuker. He yeah. was mayor. Who was mayor before Wyuker? Well, then it was. It was. Uh, we had the very, very best mayor when we had uh, Alex Bias. <laughs> and, uh, we'll have to put that down in history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. And before Wyuker. We had some awful city governments. Oh, you know who was Yeoman? 
Yeah. What was the, the, the attorney? Not you. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, the one. Carl. Oh, Carl. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> I remember that his. He had his, beautiful white hair. Sent his wife to law school, and she got her degree. And yeah. We won't say what happened after that. But anyway, they had a nice house up there. Uh, he was mayor, <laughs> and he got beat by uh, Pusser when he ran the campaign, yeah. and Hank Hens yeah. beat him. Right. And that's the first political campaign we ever had. Plus, it was active in Democratic politics in San Francisco. So he put up Hank for mayor every 10 feet along Palm Drive. And Hank Hens was a landscaper guy, you know. He, he, was, he did sprinkler system, and mm -hmm. he became mayor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how do you spell his name? H E N S E. H -E -N -S -E. Carl Yoder is the one I'm trying to think mm. of. Carl Yoder. Carl was he was an guy. attorney, he was a perfect mayor. Yeah, he did a good, mm -hmm. good job. But he lost. Wasn't there a story about Greta Garbo using your phone when she was out there at the B Bar H Ranch? She might have, but I didn't know it. I wouldn't have recognized mm. her. Yeah, I was thinking that was one of your stories. It wasn't my story, mm. but it's possible. I had the phone inside the drugstore, so I could listen in all their conversation. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't a booth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she might have, and then. Uh, Paul, no, our speaker one time. Uh, oh, Paul Gregory. Paul Gregory, yeah. and he was married to uh, Jeff Keener. Yeah, yeah, she was uh, lived near here, uh, by where the Linda lives. Are you still out there now? No, he didn't. Did uh, he go to Palm Springs? He, no, he lives at Mission Lakes. He, he oh, bought, he did? okay, he bought that property next to Mission Lakes there, but he sold it. He told me he bought the property on Santa Cruz. Right. Had two lots. And he merged them and had a nice big house there, yeah. uh, right next to the ditch that I used to have for yeah. dirt. <laughs> and uh, he hollered at me about that. But he sold those and he bought a place at Mission Lakes. So oh, I think maybe he, is, he married another, maybe he was always getting married. I don't know if he is now or not. Uh, oh, I don't know. If he he's is. in the store every couple of weeks. He's a, he, I see him at the restaurant all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I what was funny, you know, he, even when he lived here, he kept his Palm Springs mailing address. Yeah. 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 People know he was he Palm He has trouble walking now. Mm -hmm. Like all of us. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, you're perfect. Many of Okay, what were we talking about? Politics? Yeah. So now, when you think about, um, you know, what you wanted to get on this tape, can you think, is there some area that you want to discuss that we haven't covered? Well, you know, the... Uh, Chamber of Commerce was always a very powerful force in this community. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of good. And, uh, oh, there were some people, what's the guy they named the street after? Uh, always did a lot. We always had a big float and a big parade. You know, they had a lot of civic pride. Not very many people. Small population. Yeah, well, you know, we used to have the Fiesta del Desierto, Fiesta of the Desert, the Pioneer Days. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we would there would be hundreds of people. Hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. Had the Soapbox Derby one or two years. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, they had some good Soapbox And derby. Canadian Days. Did they have Canadian Days? Great Canadian Days. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was later on. I'm thinking back in the 40s and the yeah. 50s. But yeah, later on. Canadian, Canadian Days were probably in the uh, uh, 70s and 60s. Somewhere in there, yeah. Uh, and we used to have great big meals at Wordman Park and, and mm -hmm. give them the food away. That's mm -hmm. how you get the Canadians to come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember the year Rotary had buffalo burgers and everything? I don't remember yeah, that. We, I, it was at Wardman Park. I forget what deal it was tied in with. But anyway, the Rotary booth, we had uh, John and uh, Dennis uh, put in a bid for half a buffalo or a quarter of buffalo. Arizona or some state, they have their buffalo on every year. And so we had a quarter of a buffalo, and so we had buffalo burgers mm -hmm. or beef burgers, either one, whichever you wanted. Mm -hmm. I remember real big. Every year the Rotary had a turkey shoot. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, what do you mean? They turkey shoot turkey? I didn't know what that meant. And I had to work the stupid thing. But it was a skeet shoot. They did one in November and one in the spring. And they made a lot of money out there. They used it on Maury's Ranch. And uh, it's amazing how people, many people like to come out and shoot. Oh, you know, one thing, tell about going up to um, uh, Long Canyon and the house up there, Chuckawalla Bills. Oh, Buffalo Bills, that's Jack Webb found that house. Have yeah. you talked to Chuck Jack yet? Not, we haven't interviewed him yeah, yet. Yeah, you need to interview him, he's an yeah. interesting guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, and Jack Webb found that, and we just went up there uh, illegally in uh, my forerunner. Uh, 
<laughs> and took some pictures. I think I've got Jack, Jack gave me the pictures. pictures. Yeah. yeah. And that was an early settler here. Who else was an early settler? <laughs> well, the water district had their office there next to where it is now, mm -hmm. and uh, probably about 1975 when they built the new That's office. Yeah. That's about the same time we built Casa del Sol. Mm -hmm. I think there's a church there now, is there? No, yes, there is. There are books, there are religious bookstore. Okay. Um. I forgot what I was going to ask you. They should have kept the property because the building wasn't worth anything. Yeah, it? I never knew why they sold the thing. I mean, yeah. they wouldn't have done that if I did. Yeah. I'd have fought them out. And you would have too, huh? Oh, I would have. Uh, where did the city council meet? Uh, uh, I don't know how long that building has been well, there, the, the car second, main uh, and the chain. Second Street for the Mexican restaurant. Didn't they start there? Yes. And then yeah. they went up to uh, uh, Palm and, they, and, uh, and uh, to, uh, Mission Lakes. Mission Lakes and built and that building. <coughs> that, that, they didn't build it. They, they, Bought it. Okay. Originally, that was a Vista del Val well, sales that's right. office. That's right, it was a sales office. It was a sales office for all the lots above Mission Lakes, and that was called Vista del Val. At, at the intersection of Palm and, and Mission, Mission Lakes, Lakes. Like in that, that modern north, looking the house? North, north, northeast corner. Yeah. And that was the city uh, hall. Oh, it was? In 1969, when I came here, that was city hall, and uh, about 1970, I went on the planning commission, and we wow. met there. So it was the sales office for homes, first yes. of all. The lots, mainly lots. Though. Lots, they only had lots. They had no homes. Every lot up there, by the way, <coughs> in Vista Del Val, they were 60 foot lots, but they all had a palm tree and an irrigation system mm -hmm. that came with the lot. And they sold those lots for probably 17, 18,000. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, and later you could pick them up for two or three. Mm -hmm. But now they're probably like <coughs> 40 or 50. But they also built that clubhouse, which is now destroyed. But they had given it to Andrew, and yeah. we sold it to some people. Had an Olympic swimming pool. I'd love to have that now. Well, now, is the pool still there or everything? No. No. And they had a, a his and hers jacuzzi and, and uh, saunas. They had two pool tables. Where was that? Where? It's destroyed now, but it's up at the end of uh, Santa Cruz. And whose who's facility, who's facility was it? It was the Vista Del Val Clubhouse. Oh, yeah. Ah. The clubhouse mm -hmm. And they brought them out. They had ads. They brought them out buses from San Diego and Los Angeles. And they'd wine them and dine them and take up there and sell them. Well, now there was, <coughs> uh, was that Sell them a lot and sell them. Uh, <laughs> Pat Boone put his name on yeah, something. Pat Boone was part of it. Yeah. Okay. He was part of Vista Del Val. Interesting. What do you know about there up on uh, Skyline, where those lots were, pads were done and never built on? They were done illegally. I don't know who did them. Do you? Mm -hmm. no, no. I don't. <coughs> well, what wasn't it part of the Baven stuff? No, was it was after Baven? Baven, and this was done. They're beautiful lots, but there's no percolation or anything. There's no percolation. They know they get sewers. They they they're going to be worth something. Yeah, they didn't get approvals for anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know who did those. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs>